Okay, I might get some pushback on this one. Um, but to be honest, I don't really care. Uh, if you are one of the people online arguing that uh, Mark Shifley's hit on Jake Evans was an attempt to prevent an empty net goal or to try to help his team win the game, at this point, uh, there's not much I can say to, to change your mind because it probably won't be changed. But I vehemently disagree. Now... I've frozen this uh, at this spot intentionally. There's 58 seconds to go in the game. It's a one-goal game. The Jets aren't out of it. Shifley makes a play to break this one up, and uh, and we might have ourselves a game. Winnipeg might be able to go down the ice uh, and tie it up. However, that's clearly not what Shifley's intentions were. Now, I froze it here, but I will scrub through uh, the hit. And unfortunately, this sort of overshadowed the results of the game. Uh, Jake Evans was stretched off the ice. Obviously, uh, I hope the the absolute best for him. Uh, just a really bad situation, a really avoidable situation at this point. Now, I'm going to scrub through a little bit and just to see where this started. Basically, uh, the puck up played behind the Jets net. Jake Evans clearly has the icing beat and he's just going to go wrap around to try to tuck this in, right? He tucks it in. It's 5-3. Game is over. Now, I'm going to take it to right here. Mark Shifley, as you can see on the left side of your screen, has been cruising down to try to prevent a play. You can see he slows up here. Why does he slow up here? Because he's trying to line up a hit. Now, if he keeps his feet moving, we can see as we get to this frame, he clearly could have stopped this goal. If he had kept skating earlier on in the clip, look at where his stick is. His stick is probably about five feet long. He can reach out, he can poke this puck away into the corner, try to get possession, and keep this game a one-goal game and give the, chance, uh, the Jets a chance to tie up game one here. But instead, the entire way, he is not focused on the puck. His head is up, and he's looking for the hit. Now, I don't know if he's trying to rally his team uh, behind a big hit uh, to try to inspire some confidence, but guess what? Confidence doesn't mean a lot when you're down two with a minute to go instead of down by one. It's so easy for him. Literally, look at this frame. Jake Evans would tap it in, but Shifley could easily get his stick in there to break this up. And instead, he doesn't. Instead, he decides, I'm going to make a big hit in a dangerous spot in the ice while I have momentum on a player with his head down. Now, is his head down because uh, he's not being responsible? No, it's down because he's trying to make sure he scores an empty net goal to secure game one for his team. But instead, Shifley makes a hit. Now, I wanted it to pause there. But it's pretty clear here that while, yes, there is a lot of contact to the body, the shoulder, I mean, you can see the name bar of Shifley, is at the level of Jake Evans' head. That's, that's a dirty hit. And with the speed Shifley was going, and the, the opportunity to play the puck to break this one up. Now, it's one thing if the hit could have stopped the goal. But it was clear that his intention was not to stop a goal. It was to lay a big hit. And he lays his hit in a dirty manner. The shoulder is at head height. He's pushing up into the hit. Not forward, but up into the hit. Which causes the entire brunt of the hit to go into the head of Jake Evans. And I mean, you can see that based on the trajectory of Evans' body. I mean, you can clearly see the the entire hit momentum went this way on Evans, which means it was at the top of his body and sort of cantilevers him into landing on his head on the ice. At the end of the day, it's a ridiculous, unnecessary play that didn't need to happen. It's a play that potentially cost his team any chance of tying this game up. Um, now, I've seen people saying, oh, he should be suspended for the, se uh, the rest of the series. Now, with the way Department of Player Safety has been, that's not going to happen. At most, he gets two games. And I think that that's a little bit ridiculous. Because his clear intent here was to cause harm. I suspect he'll get a game or two. Based on the track record of the Department of Player Safety, they'll say, oh, the primary point of contact was the chest. And... Uh, and he was trying to prevent a goal, when clearly that's not the case. We will see. I personally hope that he is uh, punished to an acceptable level. I doubt 
we'll see Jake Evans back in this series. It's unfortunate for the Montreal Canadiens, but mostly it's unfortunate to Jake Evans. Celebrating a birthday today, and this is the result. Obviously, we all wish the best for Jake Evans. Uh, I don't have much else to say on this. It's a bad hit, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.